The 2013 showbiz year was quite an interesting and successful one in organization of events and patronage from fun lovers. However, the absence of an ultra modern theater poses a challenge to accommodation of patrons. Due to low capacity, the National Theater, Conference Center, and the Dome, to mention a few, some major events had to be moved to the Accra Sports Stadium. Award-winning radio broadcaster and DJ Kwesi Che Dakwa said constructing venues for events should be of paramount interest to government. We need not just a national theater in Accra, but we need some sort of edifice. At least if every two regions can share a major theater, then you've created an enabling environment for every musician. He explained the government's assistance will aid the industry make strides in contributing to the GDP. There's a conference that could not come to Ghana because they need a place that can seat 10,000 people and they need hotels that can hold 10,000 people. But where the government is waiting for the private entrepreneur to put that infrastructure in place, then the truth is we're going to lose out on a lot of business. Delving deeper, he blamed most of the industry's challenges and problems on poor management. What I want to see is a nation where, in addition to finding people with political affiliation, we find individuals who are well versed in their field of endeavor, who have not only the passion, but the knowledge, the training, as well as the practice to fill key positions. Known as KKD, his professional contribution to the showbiz industry has been enormous, but his bid to man one of the agencies under the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts did not yield fruits. Interestingly, looking elsewhere in showbiz, we found renowned Nollywood actor Sam Dede appointed as a director of tourism in River State, and Richard Morfet Domido, RMD, currently holds the Commissioner for Culture and Tourism in Delta State, Nigeria. So, we asked the million dollar question Should government leave the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts under the management and scrutiny of showbiz industry players? There are loopholes everywhere. Even in the United States of America, there are loopholes everywhere. But that is why there are governments and that is why people vote. Every Ghanaian who has learned their trade, every Ghanaian who has improved himself must have a shot at doing something in the public and civil service in this country. For more and more of exclusives, stick to TV3 Entertainment.